Okay, here's sort of an unboxing for my uh, battery cells. I just got in from AliExpress. Uh, these are Lido Kahlo cells, I guess is how you say that, 100 amp hour cells. I've already cut it open, cheated a little bit, got some fluff on top, and then uh, open that up. Got a pack of uh, just the uh, bus bars and screws and things. There they are screws, uh, they are not studs. And then the batteries all come in a little uh, cocaine pack here. So they are well packed. I, uh, I did slit one open to look at the top. So uh, we will uh, open that up, get a little better look. This open and uh, unroll. Those pack pretty well. Okay, so here's the cell. You know, Kala got the uh, 3.2 volt 100 amp hour cells. So uh, I've got a. Uh, QR there, have a QR on top, so decent looking cell, seems uh, well insulated, so we'll take a look at a couple more, put that aside, and find an end, here we go. And out of the way. So cell number two. Looks decent shape. Top. Put it down. And let's do it again. And once more. Good looking package all the way around. No dense dings, QR codes, so very nice cells. And the last one. Out of the way. Good looking pack all the way around. Great shape there. Uh, that little pack of bus bars uh, and screws it's come with some tiny little short screws some washer washers and uh, all right so voltage test <clears throat> three even three even 302. And three even. All right, now we're going to top balance these batteries. <clears throat> that helps get every all the different cells uh, on the same level, so to speak. So when you put these together in series, they're going to function well, where one cell won't top out before another, or one cell hopefully won't bottom out for another. If you uh, remember my voltage check, they were all... Um, Three volts and with one at 3.01 volt, volts <clears throat> or 02 maybe it was so in any event they're very very close but voltage is not a good determiner of state of charge for lipo batteries uh, the voltage curve is just so flat that it doesn't often tell you much so what we're going to do here is what's called a top balance so i've got all the cells connected um got negatives here got positives here <clears throat> Um, bus bars, only three are needed to build the series. They sent four, so that's great. So I just made two jumpers out of, uh, out of some wire and then have uh, my hobby charger that I've had for ages uh, connected up to that. Got the uh, positive connected on this end of the pack and the negative connected on that end of the pack. Um, charger is being powered by a uh, power supply, so anybody's done RC, they're real familiar with this setup. <clears throat> 
But what I did was I just changed this pack to a 1S setting. So we can uh, we can charge it up. So right now it's charging, been charging about 26, 28 minutes. I can't read through my screen. Um, you only come up two tenths of a volt so far. Uh, put 4,800 amp hours into this battery. So we've got a ways to go. So just letting that um, run up and again help balance out these cells so when I put them back together in their series orientation they will function uh, to their greatest capacity and give me uh, the greatest capacity of discharge possible out of these cells. So my little 100 amp hour battery pack I'm uh, pretty, pretty pleased with it so far. It's uh, it's not very big at all, 100 amp hours. So it should be a, uh, a great little battery for my power station, for my kayak, for wherever I decide to, to use it, and probably both places.